Welcome to the American Library Association Annual Conference. I am Donna Seaman, a senior editor at Booklist. And the mountains echoed. It's already received many rave reviews, and we look forward to hearing your questions, too. Please join me in welcoming Halid Hosseini to the stage. I like stories to begin at the beginning when people are children. Were books part of your life in Kabul? They were a big part of my life. Um, I can't remember a time when I didn't love books. Mm -hmm. um, I spent, this sounds like a cliche, but it really is true, I spent all my allowance in Kabul and on books. <laughs> and, um, and I had to because we didn't have libraries. Oh. <laughs> I actually didn't know anything about libraries until I moved to Europe. And up to that point, and I left Afghanistan when I was 11, up to that point, you know, if I wanted to be around books, I went to bookstores. And so that's what I did. And um, most of the bookstores in Kabul were sort of kind of like used bookstores, really. So I would go in there and just kind of be in the company of books and end up buying whatever was available. But I read a lot of, um, a lot of novels. Um, you know, I, I remember one of the first, one of the really prized uh, books that I had as a child was a Farsi translation of White Fang that my dad gave to me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, and I had so many fantasies about, you know, owning a dog like that. <laughs> um, but I, I, you know, I read um, serialized novels in women's magazines, believe me <laughs> <Nice>. or not. <laughs> That's how I read The Exorcist. Um, <laughs> and I was 10. Uh, <laughs> um, I, read, I read James Bond novels. Nice. I read, they had these wonderful condensed novels for YA, kind of mm -hmm. what is now is called YA, but it was for like children, like they would take classics in Iran and like Ivanhoe or, or Alice in Wonderland or Don Quixote and they would condense them into these beautiful illustrated books for kids and those were some of the earlier books that I bought. The book is, the heart of the book is the relationship between a pair of siblings whom we meet early in the book in, in, at the very outset in early 1950s. A boy in Abdullah was 10 and his little sister Perry and the two of them are extremely close. They lost their mother when she gave birth to the little girl, lived with their father and their stepmother and little stepbrother. But it's an unusual sibling relationship in the sense that it's almost like parent child. And they cling to each other. And he all more or less raised her, fed her, cleaned her, walked her. So they're very, very close. But in 1952, when we first meet them, they go to Kabul with their father, where the dad has ostensibly found work. And they get separated from each other. 